क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टू अदर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ऑयल्स व्हिच आर क्लाउड पॉइंट एंड पोर पॉइंट वील सी वॉट एग्जैक्टली क्लाउड पॉइंट इज एंड हाउ इट इज यूजफुल विद द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इट एंड वॉट इज पोर पॉइंट एंड इट सिग्निफिकेंस इन डिटेल इन दिस सेशन So now, what exactly is a cloud point? Cloud point is defined as that point in temperature at which my oil will become hazy in appearance. The oil will start looking like a cloud. That means it is cloudy and hazy in appearance. So if the oil or the lubricant is appearing hazy in appearance, there are certain shifts in the physical and the chemical properties of that oil. When we are putting that oil onto the machine, we are making sure that the appearance is not hazy and cloudy. but at certain point in temperature if it turns into a hazy or a cloudy form of it that means there is shift in the physical and chemical properties and because of those shifts in the physical properties or the chemical properties the oil may no more be a lubricant and start acting as something else the second property over here which we are going to study is the pore point now pore point is very important pore point is that point in temperature where the oil ceases to flow or ceases to pour that means that is that temperature wherein the oil won't flow at all that means it is either turned into a semi solid state or into a completely solid state it will forget all its liquid properties of flowing or pouring that in temperature is known as pore point now pore point may happen at lower temperatures and even the cloud point may happen at lower temperatures so now if i have a cloud point or a pore point both of these points are at low temperatures they are not at high temperatures so if i take a oil and i cool that oil it will turn cloudy that point is known as cloud point if i cool it even more it will turn either semi solid or solid and it will stop pouring or it will cease the flow or pouring that is known as the pore point and that is the reason why those two properties are not desirable in any machine so if i am using these lubricants into any machine and that machine is working at lower temperatures the oils which i use into it should have much lower cloud points or pore points so if i have a machine which works at 25 degree celsius there may be chances of this machine working at lower temperatures than 25 as well depending on the atmosphere outside it so if i have a machine at a very cold place that machine is working at 25 degree celsius there may be chances that it may also work at 20 degree celsius on some days so the oils which are used over here should be having the cloud point or the pore point of 5 to 10 degree celsius there should be a huge gap or buffer so that the oil can stay in its original physical state which is the liquid state of it now what is the significance of this cloud point or the pore point with the help of this cloud point or the pore point we can actually find out at what temperature at the lowest temperature will this oil stop being a lubricant so for example if i have a particular oil and i'm using it in a machine which works at 40 degree celsius and it's working extremely fine now if i want to set up another machine which is working at 20 degree celsius i need to make sure what is the cloud point and the pore point of the oil which i'm being using if it is much lesser than that then i can easily use that oil over there as well if we do not know the cloud point or the pore point of an oil and if we just use it into a machine and then the oil gets either cloudy or ceases to flow and because of that certain parts of the machine can get jammed they get jammed and they can get stuck we do not want that that is undesirable and that is the reason why we should already know the cloud points and the pore points of the different oils that we are using that is the significance of both of these points so in today's session we studied about the cloud point and the pore point both of these points happen when the oils get into a lower temperature it is very necessary and important for us to make sure that the oil does not reach the cloud point or the pore point while working inside the machine thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ikeda and subscribe to ikeda